Hello, hello. Hi, my name is Stefan Sagmeister, and I will talk about the poster. Well, uh, all together, sadly, because I used to like this quite a bit uh, myself, uh, I think it's dead. Uh, the poster, most of the posters that I see, and many of them that we do here and there, are basically nostalgic, meaning they're done because designers still love to do them, but there is their utility as far as a medium of proper promotion or advertising is extremely compromised. Uh, you know, considering we can uh, put some real thought into a small video that can get hundreds of thousands or maybe even millions of hits, it's sort of difficult to justify to print a thousand posters and go through the trouble of actually putting them up uh, in a city. Uh, most cities, most new cities, specifically when it comes to cities in Asia and in the United States, are built for car traffic. Uh, and the poster obviously makes not a lot of sense in a city like that. So that leaves us to a large extent in European cities. And in many of those, the cultural poster, because the spaces are at a premium, have been taken over by the commercial poster, so which leaves us those little things uh, that you know designers do for lecture posters or uh, paper promotions and things like that. And that's as nice as a hobby, but it's not really a real medium. Looking back, what made a ghost poster? Probably a uh, it needed to be somehow new. It needed to be exciting. It probably needed some sort of visual hierarchy to tell the eye uh, where to look first, second, and third. Our design process for a poster is not much different from anywhere, from, from all the other mediums. It's a still image. Uh, ultimately, it needs a proper idea, well executed. My favorite posters, as far as poster history is concerned, would probably be somewhere that Mickey Mouse poster that uh, uh, that uh, Grappus did the French group in the probably my guess would be seventies would be up there, as well as that beautiful blue bone from Matoko Saito about for a Buddhist. Temple, I think, uh, in Japan. Uh, those, of course, were the posters that I first saw uh, when I was very young and that impressed me incredibly. My advice to young designers who want to become poster designers now would be don't. Uh, I don't think right now it is possible to make a living or to create uh, a design studio that's living of poster designs um, but you know there is so much other interesting things out there to do so do those all the best of luck